Welcome to Resorts World. We are here on the first ever night. This Friday is the first night that they are open and nobody has been in this room but us. We are here at the Conrad today and uh, we got a strip view king room, so let me give you a quick room tour. Right when you walk into the foyer, you have this huge mirror. Your wet bar is here and there is the mini bar, but there's also a tiny little fridge here to put your drinks and things, which is great. And then they have a closet right near the doors and you get slippers and robes. I love that. First impressions, I mean, everything in here is brand new. It does feel very spacious and very modern. So right when you walk in through the foyer, you have your beautiful king size bed with a little bench at the end to sit and your end tables. I bet this is gonna be so comfortable, I can't wait. Brand new mattress. There's this really lovely seating area here with a nice size table and then you have your dresser kind of underneath the television which is huge and there is also a little bench there so lots of like little seating spots. Our view is of the pool and oh my gosh the pool looks amazing. Things got a little interesting this morning. We pulled into the VIP area to check into the Croxfords. You can't even pull in there. A man is standing at the gate with like an earpiece and he's like checking your party name and it was all very like Bond. We get up to the desk and she tells us, none of the Croxfords rooms are ready. None of them. No one can stay in the Croxfords on opening day. Well, this was like awful news for us. We were really upset because we wanted to show you guys all three towers and no one had told us that the rooms were not ready. But we are still going to be staying at Conrad and Hilton in this video. I will be showing you price comparisons and talk about the resort as a whole. Now we are starving. So let's go get suns out, buns out. I'm hungry. breakfast and we're here at Suns Out Buns Out which is basically their casual breakfast. They do like breakfast sandwiches here and it's kind of like egg slut but resorts world style. It's a really good sized sandwich. I got the soft scramble so it's like scrambled eggs with chives. There's a spicy mayo and cheese on a brioche. I'm gonna give it a try. It looks so good. I'm so hungry. The spicy mayonnaise is so so good with the eggs. The eggs are creamy. The brioche is toasted. It's a really good sandwich. Just finished at Suns Out Buns Out. I really liked my sandwich. I thought it was really good. There were actually like onions in there that were caramelized and they were really good with the scrambled egg. Uh, the sandwiches were about nine to twelve dollars depending on which one you got. Not a terrible price. They also had like a little section that had mini donuts, fresh squeezed orange juice here. Kind of a fun casual fast spot. But now I think we really need to go and check out the pool. We are here at the Resorts World Pool Complex, which is exactly what it feels like, a complex. There are five pools, but it's technically nine separate bodies of water. And my first impressions, there is a ton of shade, lots of umbrellas. The pool chairs are luxe and delicious and amazing. And there is actually a VIP pool area that we happen to be in, and we are gonna show you that as well. Right behind me is sort of the main pool area. It's a very long strip of two pools and ends in kind of a wraparound pool area back that way. Very beautiful. Most incredible baby, baby. And this pool area here is an exclusive perk for Crockford's guests. All of these chairs are paid chairs, unless you are staying at Crockford's, in which case these are free for you to just reserve for yourself. They also have cabanas here that you can rent. Those will be $1,000, and half of that will go towards food and beverage. Yet another pool and bar area. This is the Bimini Bar, and this one is focused on like gaming. There's a whole lawn here, tons of seating, kind of a place for people to game and relax and hang out. Behind me is the family pool, or what I call the baby pool. You see there's like little splash pad areas. It's really cute, this is good for families. And there's also a little bite snack bar right next door. We are in 
the VIP pool area. You do need to buy a chair, a day bed, or a cabana in order to be in this area. This is where you will find the very beautiful infinity pool area. There's also a really lovely bar, really luxe area. It's 21 and up only. So this is kind of a private area inside of the Resorts World pool. Just got back from the pool. We had such a wonderful time. We met really nice people. We were relaxed. It was amazing. It's time to get changed, and we are gonna explore a bunch of the food options. We are at Famous Food Street Eats, looking at all the amazing choices. It was hard to decide when we noticed these kiosks here where you can actually just order whatever you want from what, any of these stalls so we can each get our own things and not have to wait in two lines. So let's see what we get. We decided to try three places. First is Galing Clay Pot Rice. And we also ordered from the Nori Bar. And lastly, we're gonna eat at Springleaf Prata Place. We are gonna wait for our food to get called and then we're gonna try all three. Okay, so from Springleaf Prata Place, I ordered the Nazi Lama. If you don't know what that is, it's actually like Malaysia's signature dish. It's really like their national dish and typically it's for breakfast, but you have a fried egg over coconut rice with peanuts and curry. Let's give it a shot. Super, super delicious, you guys. The egg is runny and yummy and the curry is like spicy and has a great kick. This is really good and I don't see this in a lot of places. So from the Nori Bar, I ordered a hand roll. Their hand rolls were only six bucks, which I think is a pretty good price if you just want a little snack. So I got the salmon hand roll and it comes with dipping. I got my soy sauce. I love sushi. This is good. Mr. Ruby also ordered from here. We've been just eating and sharing off each other's food. And this is from Clay Pot Rice Bowl and we are having the chicken rice bowl because they ran all out of beef. Supposedly this is the best stall in here. So let's see what the deal is. We had to wait a long time for this one. Get a piece of chicken. It's really good. Tastes like fried rice, kind of. I like my Nazi Lamak better, the same. A great perk to being a Crockford's guest is that you have access to the Crockford's gaming and lobby. So you will have the gaming area here, which is high limit. And there's also a private bar just for these guests. Typically in the casino, the center bar is just a place you end up like waiting for your room to be ready. But here in Resorts World, it's actually a really awesome spot and somewhere you kind of want to come and hang out and get a drink. Ooh. Okay, so a very fun, kind of strange check-in day. We got a ton of sun, we ate some yummy food, and I think we're going to call it a night pretty early here, but don't worry, we have two more days at Resorts World because we barely scratched the surface and we have a ton more to show you, so I'll see you in the morning. everybody it was so nice to actually be able to relax in a room for once staying here a couple days is definitely nice we heard that the Conrad is offering an all-you-can-eat serve yourself continental style breakfast it's supposed to be in the lobby of the Conrad but they told us that they're serving it out of the kitchen currently it's gonna be probably as close as you can get to a breakfast buffet here at Resorts World so we're gonna go check it out and see how it is you can eat breakfast area and they do southern comfort food with like a classic twist on it you have a whole range of hot plates like biscuits and gravy bacon sausage breakfast potatoes hash and then on the other side you have like your pool bar which has fruits and pudding and oatmeal so we're gonna grab a bunch of stuff we're 
couple of bites are really, really awesome, and I've never seen dragon fruit on a buffet. I also got muesli, so I'm really excited to eat everything. It looks really good. Okay, just finished our breakfast at the kitchen. I know they're calling it a continental because it doesn't have a huge variety, but it was all you can eat, and honestly, $25 for the hotel guests is such a great deal. I really think this is such a nice option for people staying at the hotel to just come and get a breakfast for $25 and get really full. Do keep in mind that drinks are not included in that, just so you're aware. So we really want to explore all of Resorts World, and it's really large. But I was gonna start with maybe talking about the hotels. In case you aren't aware, Resorts World is made up of three separate towers, the Crockfords, the Conrad, and the Hilton Tower. They all have their own separate lobbies, so let's go show you those. The first lobby to check out would be the Hilton Lobby. You will know you're in here when you see a dog kissing a rabbit on top of a hippo. This is the lobby for Hilton guests, and it's usually the busiest. So this is the Conrad Lobby. Here you're going to find the iconic Liberace's piano, as well as works of fine art that they're actually doing in here live. And they also have a separate bar here just for Conrad guests. I wanted to show you guys the Crockford's lobby. They have a private valet entrance where no one can come in unless you are staying in this hotel, offer complimentary beverages here. It's really, really beautiful. It also has access right to the casino in the high limit area. It's connected also to the Conrad and the Hilton lobbies. Across from the Marigold restaurant by the cars here, you're gonna get to the Dog House. This is their sports book and saloon. They play live music here really often. There's a decent sized sports book in the front, and they also have a grilled cheese food truck called the Mouse House. Yesterday we did eat at Famous Foods, which is right across from the doghouse. There's an entrance here, and we've eaten at like five of the stalls so far. Everything's been really delicious. Let's go walk through and take another peek. In the center of the Famous Street Foods, you have a bar, and this isn't just any bar. You will go up to the bartender and order a horror card. They will take your credit card information. You then put this card on any of the beers you would like and it will pour you beer. You can just keep coming back up to this stall uh, whenever you like, as many times as you like, keep pouring beers for yourself and it will just charge your card so you don't have to keep going up to the bar to get your drinks. Here in the back end of the casino, behind Gatsby's, you have a restaurant row. Viva by Ray Garcia is here. Wally's, which has like a cheese and wine. There's also going to be Fuhu, which will open back here. A lot of cool options in this area, kind of the restaurant row. Just had an amazing cocktail and here kitty kitty I got the Chun Li which was like a smoother creamier version of a blue Hawaii to find here kitty kitty secret den you are gonna come in the famous food hall and look around I'm not gonna tell you where it is you have to find it for yourself but I'll give you a hint I'm really close Good morning, you guys. Last night was so much fun. The vice den was awesome, and then we ended up having some sushi at like midnight. This morning we are checking out of the Conrad room. I'm gonna wait to give you guys my final thoughts on it because I wanna compare it to the next room we're staying in. We are checking into the Hilton Tower, which is a little less expensive than this room. So let's go and check that one out. Here we are at the Hilton. First impression, 
I'm kind of liking the like decor a little better. Let's take a look around. This room is 450 square feet. So that was our room tour. Now we are gonna go downstairs. We wanna have an early dinner and then there's some cocktails that we wanna go check out. did tell us about it though and it sounds amazing you're gonna have to just come here to find it out for yourself we are at Wally's here at Resorts World who have a few very exclusive locations I've heard only good things and been recommended here about six times they take no reservations and you have to wait in the line and I think it's gonna be worth it because man, charcuterie boards are my favorite thing ever. They have Wisconsin Hooks 10 Year Cheddar, which you never see anywhere. And the sommelier has recommended me a very delicious champagne. So we are gonna enjoy this before we go to our mains. We got our mains. I am trying the Truffle Caesar, which is apparently their like very popular salad. They said this Caesar is not made with any anchovy, which is the thing that kind of draws me away from Caesar. So I'm very excited to try it. And Mr. Ruby has gotten a Wagyu burger with truffle fries. And truffle is like the main seller of this menu. There is like, I swear, so much money worth of truffles on top of this fries. We're so excited. We just finished our meal at Wally's. I'm incredibly impressed. Wally's has three locations, Santa Monica, Beverly Hills, and right here in Resorts World. The place looks very unpretentious from the front, but they have 2,000 different wines and they were hoping to have about 8,000 by the fall, which is incredible. Our food was delicious. Everything comes with truffle, just pile truffle on literally everything. We loved our food. At least come here for meat and cheese and talk to Somalia and get some wine. You will not be disappointed. Thank you to Angel and Michelle. You guys were amazing. And now we are finished and gonna head out for the night. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the information society. This may be the longest final thoughts ever. So I'm gonna try really hard not to go crazy and ramble. I'll keep it as succinct as possible. But you guys like how thorough I am and I'm going to be very thorough because this is a brand new hotel. The first thing I wanna talk about would be the casino. So when you first walk into the casino, it's, it's designed really smart. I like the layout as a whole of the hotel. The casino is just one long strip in the middle of the hotel with food and other things on the other sides as well as the hotel rooms. You're never really like in the casino like, oh gosh, we gotta go all the way this way or all the way that way. Even though this is a big resort, you can like easily get to where you need to go. We loved the variety of the games. They were all like brand new cabinets and some of them are really fun. I also liked that they actually have beer cart girls in the casino. This was really cool. And we asked if this was gonna be a permanent thing and they told us yes. Girls are walking around pushing carts that have beers and waters and you can just grab them. They will open it for you, hand it to you. Please tip, please. Now the pool. So I loved this pool. We loved the pool. I like that it was smaller pools. I wasn't sure if that meant it was gonna feel more crowded, but because there are so many separate areas to hang out, people spread out a lot amongst the pool areas. So there were like an area with like middle-aged couples hanging out. There was an area where there were a lot of like teens over there chilling. And then there's a family pool, the baby pool as I called it, which was 
genius because all the families with little, little kids were over in that area. So you had kind of your own separate places. They do have a VIP pool area and man, it's incredible. It's beautiful. The bar is amazing. It's 21 and up only. So it's kind of like more of a clubby atmosphere and the infinity pool was amazing. That was obviously my favorite part, but you have to pay to go in there. And I don't know that that's necessary to come and enjoy the pool area because there are free chairs really close to the edges of the pools. You don't have to pay to get a prime spot in the regular pool area and there's ample shade be, that you don't have to pay for. Some places you have to pay for umbrellas. You don't have to pay for that here. The pool area is luxurious and I loved it. It was probably my favorite part of this hotel. Let's call a spade a spade. The shopping and dining isn't finished here yet. I think the hotel was finished enough to open, especially because this is sort of their soft opening and they started saying that more and more the more we are here because I do think 4th of July is meant to be their real opening. The dining in here was fabulous. The places that are open, fabulous. The problems that occurred were the POS system. So the famous food hall, all those little stalls are entirely cashless. They don't have registers at all in them. You have to pay on a kiosk and you're just gonna get a text on your phone and you just walk up to the window and grab it except it was glitchy. It wasn't working to the standard that it should have been yet. And it's a shame because every single stall that I ate in there was incredible. The food in there was top notch and they're unique dishes that you don't see everywhere. I think the food is worth the hassle of the glitchy system and I'm just really hoping that they get that fixed soon for you guys when you come. They have cool bars and lounges in here. Gatsby's is really cool and the here kitty kitty vice den that you guys have to go find that was really fun they don't have starlight on 66 open yet but when they do it sounds like it's gonna be really awesome i'm really excited about the nightlife obviously they need to get the day club and nightclub open too and i think that will be fabulous location wise this is not the best location same situation as like with mandalay bay where you're on the very far end pretty much beside circus circus and like sahara we did a test, it took about 30 minutes to walk to center strip and we're pretty speedy walkers. Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to do the room comparisons and like give you my thoughts on the room. First of all, let's address the Crockford situation. Apparently, I ended up in the Las Vegas Review Journal and I also ended up on TMZ screaming free F and Britney, which I'm super proud of, but sorry I swore mom, it was the champagne I swear. The Crockford staff did everything in their power to apologize to us for the fact that the rooms were not ready. And this wasn't a fault of the staff there. Full disclosure, we ended up being refunded for all three of our nights. So I do think the staff made that right. I think that they are trying really hard to leave a good impression, despite the fact that the room wasn't ready. When they are ready, I am definitely gonna come back and give you guys a review. Let me talk about the Conrad. We originally paid $561 for our night. Obviously that's absurd, but it was opening day. Uh, we looked at what the prices are gonna be in the near future and it's about $300 a night. The room was very nice. The little touches inside made it feel very luxe. I remember in one review I said that I felt more comfortable here than in my house and I felt the same way about this room at the Conrad. The towels were so plush and cozy and the robe was like super thick and wonderful and they give you slippers. I love when they do things like that. Having a fridge for your beverages. I liked that room a lot at the Conrad. Comparing it to here at the Hilton rooms, I like the design in here almost a little bit better, but it is a little darker. The lighting's not as intense because the ceilings are not as tall. This is also just a smaller room. The room is a little smaller, the shower is smaller, you don't have the water closet. Both rooms had amazing toiletries. My hair feels amazing. That bottle of lotion, I looked it up and it's a $65 bottle of lotion. So you're getting top-notch products. I love little details like that. We paid for the Hilton room like $387 total. Again, super expensive, but it's opening weekend. I looked up the prices here and the rooms here, it seemed like between 250 to 275. They fluctuated a lot on the website from month to month that I was looking at. 
What I'm gonna say is that I think because this hotel is just opened, I don't know that these are gonna be the prices going forward. Circa and the Virgin also had really high price rates for a while before they dropped down. Here's the one thing I really wanna point out to you guys before I kind of give you a should you stay here moment is that the customer service here has literally blown me away. And I don't just mean at the desk or the people that comped us for the mistake. Every human being that we spoke to in here was the nicest employee I've ever talked to. They were going above and beyond. And it's things that were little things that add up. They are trying to make a mark here, I think. They're trying to say, yes, we're here. We feel so grateful that we got to come stay in a grand opening weekend. That is just so cool. And it's not an opportunity that comes around a lot. A lot of the negatives that I'm saying are the growing pains and the hiccups from them trying to get open. And I understand that. But I absolutely think anyone who's coming to Vegas in the near future should come and check it out in here. As for me, I'm excited to come back. I can't wait to review the Crockfords for you guys and show Starlight on 66. And I also wanna see if they worked out a lot of the kinks when I do come back in a few weeks time. So that's my review and my opinion. I hope that I showed you guys everything so that you can make a decision for yourself. Thank you guys for watching this one. I really wanna hear a dialogue in the comments about your guys' thoughts. Would you stay? Are you gonna wait? What do you think? Thank you all so much. I'm gonna see you all in my next one.